we introduce PCB renewal, an innovative technique that enables erasure and reconfiguration of obsolete PCBs. By selectively depositing conductive epoxy onto outdated sections, it transforms isolated copper paths into functional conductive planes, ready to support entirely new circuit designs. The process begins with a digital comparison of the board's current layout and the updated design, powered by an EDA software plugin. Users simply load two PCB files, align them, and compare designs. The software automatically quantifies potential resource savings, including material usage, power consumption, cost, and time through the built-in sustainability modeling function. Areas requiring renewal are highlighted in layered visuals with exportable profiles ready for fabrication. Before physical modifications, electronic components are removed from the old PCB, A laser-cut stencil created from comparison data can be used to guide the conductive epoxy deposition. The epoxy is cured using either a convection oven or hot plate. and fresh traces are engraved onto the renewed surface using the software-generated profile. This completes the transformation, turning outdated boards into new ones that hold different circuits. Here is an example of a single piece of FR4 engraved, renewed, and reused across four iterations in three projects. This is the initial engrave of the circuit designed for a camera roller. However, the pull-up resistor required for enabling code uploading mode for the microcontroller is missing in this design. This mistake would have conventionally required manufacturing an entirely new PCB. Using PCB renewal, we were able to make these minor adjustments directly on the existing prototype. In this case, we saved over 99% of material usage and weight and two-thirds of the energy compared to making a new PCB. After soldering the components, the control code can be uploaded and the camera roller can be put into use. With the camera roller design finalized, the prototype PCB was no longer needed while much of its circuitry remained potentially useful for other projects. Instead of discarding the entire board, we selectively removed and updated only the necessary components of the camera roller PCB, repurposing it for a Wi-Fi radio. With comparable fabrication time, this iteration also saved 96% of material in weight compared to making a new prototype. This prototype demonstrates that renewed PCB could support audible frequency data transmission while maintaining low noise levels. To demonstrate reliability of the renewal across multiple iterations, we repurposed the Wi-Fi radio circuit again as the motherboard of an ESP Boy assembly. Similar to last iteration, this one also saved 96% of material usage compared to making a PCB from scratch. The updated motherboard effectively handled I2C data transmission to both the OLED display and the GPIO extender on the daughter board. PCB renewal can also be extended beyond FR4 PCBs. In this example, we start with a digital LED watch PCB manufactured as a double layer board with a solder mask by a small batch PCB producer. 
We conducted modifications to both layers in the vias and transformed it into an interactive cat toy. With the ability to reconfigure circuits on PCBs, PCB renewal promotes reuse and reduce resource consumption for PCB making. Please refer to our full paper for more detailed information.